Hey everybody, Sean Tierney here from RenovationBlog.com and I'm in Oculus Home. I'm in my Oculus Rift CV1 in my office. Um, don't have a lot of room to move around here in my office, but uh, today we're going to take a look at Automation Fair at Home, the VR side to it. So what I'll do here is uh, pull up my menu and let's go get Altspace VR going. I'm so used to at home when I play VR, I have a big open space and here in my office, I do not. <laughs> so I keep bumping into things. Okay, so it was pretty easy to find it because it's the only event that's going on right now. So if I go to events and there it is, it's the only one, there's one event and that's it, it's enter. Uh, All right, here we are. Oh, look, a group of people are here. No, I haven't either. So we're on the top of Rockwell Automation. See the clock tower up there. And uh, you can see a beautiful view of, is this supposed to be Milwaukee? <laughs> um, hmm. Well, it doesn't, doesn't quite look like Milwaukee, but I haven't been there in many years. And uh, the help desk here is manned from 3 to 5 p.m. CST. Okay, so 4 o'clock. It's not quite 4 o'clock yet where I am. This is to the manufacturing operations line. And I will uh, jump in there. We'll take you downstairs and see what's going on there. Whoa. <laughs> so that, I guess, was World 1. This is World 2. Okay. So here we can see it mutes your microphone by default, but um, you can unmute your mic and talk to other people who are around. And you can hear those folks talking over there. And this is a, uh, a manufacturing line. Let's see if we can find the beginning of it. And um, I guess you get the catwalk up there. You can see RA, PTC, Cisco, some more logos along the wall. Fanuc. Oh, I'm sorry, surprised to see Fanuc there. That's great. I know Fanuc Robots does a lot with Rockwell. And uh, yeah, here you can see some pick and place going on with robots, conveyors, um, all kind of very generic here. And. Uh, just walk around here. You can see uh, pick and place, pick and place. Um, so you come over here, see more of the same, right? It kind of looks a little unfinished. I mean, it's cool. Don't get me wrong. I think it's cool. Excuse me, gentlemen. But it does seem a little. Bonjour. 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 You see here, you can see the screen. Kind of looks like it came out of Factory Talk View. Unmute. Right click. And then um, here we have a robot arm doing some more stuff. All right. So, hey, let's go up on the catwalk and see what's going on up here. We have a big empty space, I guess the social lounge. Don't jump, don't jump. Could I unmute myself? Nobody can hear you if you're muted. So yeah, so this isn't what I was expecting, but it's cool. Now the other thing we can do is we can go inside. We can go, let's go down this way. Thank you for joining us. Let's go down inside the room here and see what's going on there. Hello. Hi there. All right, this looks like a uh, control room here. Heat maps. This looks like, uh, this must be the new stuff. I can't read it. Innovation suite. If I get really close, I can read it. Powered by PTC. Almost looks like plant metrics. And over here, looks like we got some... Uh, more of the innovation suite, work orders, part numbers, MCSs, queues, and all that good stuff. And back here, hello. Back here we have, uh, looks like a uh, brochure there on the wall. Ooh, I got a people alert here. Uh, Firmin's Quest, 
Anna Suzuki. I don't know who Anna is, but we'll accept it. Okay. So, I think we've seen everything on this floor. I think it's time to go back upstairs and take a look at the other uh, section. Hello? 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 <laughs> uh, good times, good times. So let's go back to the rooftop here. All right, I think it's old. I may have to go into the, may have to go into the settings to turn that off. So, what's over here? Oh, there goes some fireworks. All right, so let's come over here to the portal to the Customer Solutions Center, and go a little bit faster. Whoa, gets me every time. All right, here we are. We're in the uh, Solution Center, and um, let's start over here Marcel? and take a look at uh, this panel here. Lots of Cat 5 there, Cat 6. Well, Looks like it's a switch. Here. Looks like uh, drawers of computers. Okay. You can hear everybody else talking and having conversations. <laughs> Tanks going up and down. Okay. Come over here. Let's see what we got over here. Uh, the Connected Enterprise. Okay. Oh, we have one of those in the office. Well, that's the 5580. We got the 50, uh, 5570. Here's some pictures from, uh, looks like, Automation Fair. Some of the demo panels they have there. Okay, we've got an advertisement going on here. Looks like we got some uh, dashboards over here. These look like the older dashboards. Um, maybe Vantage Point? Okay, we got more pictures of cabinets over here. Fifty-three eighty. Love to get some more cards for our fifty-three eighty. We only have the experience kit right now. Now over here, the retro encabulator was playing. I don't know why it stopped. Let's see if we can start it up. Yes. Here at Rockwell Automation's world headquarters, research has been proceeding to develop a line of automation products that establishes new standards for quality, technological leadership, and operating excellence. Nice data liner. With customer <laughs> success as our primary focus, work has been proceeding on the crudely conceived idea of an instrument that would not only provide inverse reactive current for use in unilateral phase detractors, <laughs> but would also be capable of automatically synchronizing cardinal gram meters. That's not a cardinal gram meter. <laughs> Such an instrument comprised of... Dodge gears and bearings, bearings Reliance electric, electric motors, motors Allen Bradley controls, controls and, all and all monitored by Rockwell, Rockwell Software. Is Rockwell, Rockwell Automation's Retro Encabulator. <laughs> now, basically, the only new principle involved... Wherever, wherever Rockwell, Rockwell Automation, Automation products, products are sold. Are sold. This, uh, that is just a, a classic. Here at Rockwell Automation's world Classic, I love it. Has been to develop a line now over here, looks like we have a little uh, demo area. Some pick and paste, vacuum. Picking the products up, putting them on the uh, conveyor belt. And, yeah, doesn't make much logical sense, but, hey, it's cool to be here in VR. Be hanging out, that picture could have been better. But um, I'll be hanging out in VR at Automation Fair at home. But um, hey, still, this would be a great place to meet with other people. I know the Rockwell people will be here probably in a couple hours. I think 4 o'clock Eastern. And um, let's go back up top here. So that is Automation Fair at home in VR. Um, as you can see, it's uh, I, I think right now it's really 
kind of a social networking space and um, see if I can get this to work. So with that, that'll end this episode of the Automation Show. My name is Sean Tierney. Until next time, my friends, peace. Oh, is that you? Hey. Yes. Good to see you, my distributor specialist. <laughs> hey, salut, Simon. Are you everything working okay? Yeah. Now you're using um, Microsoft Mixed Reality headset. And I'm yeah. using the Oculus Rift. Yeah, we got uh, we got people. Yep, I'm trying not to move my legs because I don't have much room in my office. I think you're in the same position. You don't have a lot of extra room in your office to walk around. Yeah, I quickly set up just the desk version. I didn't do the walk around. Okay. It no, it doesn't at all. So you can see up here, this is kind of like a social space where people can hang out. There's fireworks they can play with. There's basketball behind you. And uh, the Rockwell people will be hanging out here at uh, 4 o'clock Eastern. And so there's three worlds. This is world one, kind of a general hangout area. And uh, there's a couple more places to hang out. Let's go to the other place here. Where are you? Where'd you go? Okay. Um, let's go to the one on the left first, if you don't mind. Yeah, I'll try to call you. You can you can teleport too. I like walking, but you can teleport. Teleporting's a lot faster.